hey traders, so you are a retail trader just like me. Now let me tell you that institutional traders need you to lose money in order for them to make money. Okay, so in this video, I want to show you why this is true. Okay, why it is really necessary for them to do that so that uh, they can make money. And hopefully, when you understand uh, why they need to do that, then uh, you can avoid being a sucker, right? You can avoid losing money to institutional traders, okay? So thanks for checking out my video, right? Uh, we are a team of uh, traders over here in this channel, and our job is to create content like this to help you become a profitable trader, okay? So if you are new to this channel, please give us a thumbs up, but give us, uh, you know, subscribe to our channel because uh, we want to help you and we are just a retail trader just like you okay so let's get into today's video i'll be sharing uh two things okay i'll share with you uh why institutional traders need you to lose money okay i have two reasons okay i'll make it very clear to you and i'll end off with uh, how do institutional traders typically sucker you in okay once you know that they need to do it i want to show you how they actually normally do it so that you can avoid uh, losing money to institutional traders okay sounds good Okay, so make sure you subscribe. Okay, if you have not, please do that. Okay, so let's go into the first one over here. Okay, so why do institu institutional traders need you to lose money? Okay, it's very simple. Okay, trading is a zero sum game. Okay, whether it's a Forex, whether it's the stock market or any instrument. Okay, trading is a zero sum game. Okay, so what do I mean by zero sum game? Okay, zero sum games means that for you to make money, Okay, someone else must lose money. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, no one can make money all the time, meaning that the, the world doesn't function in a way that every single trader makes money. Okay, for you to turn a profit, okay, someone else must lose. That means if you are buying, someone must be selling to you. Okay, and if you are, you know, your buy position is a winner, then whoever sold to you lose money. Okay, so trading is a zero sum game. So there's no such thing as uh, come, let's profit together, you know. Uh, come, uh, let's say I'm going to buy euro dollar and then institutional players tell you that they are buying euro dollar so that you can buy it with them. Okay, so it doesn't work like that. So that is why, uh, you know, you have all these trading reports or, you know, like trading recommendations from all these uh, brokers or, you know, uh, institutional like, you know, um, the... Uh, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, all this kind of trade recommendation are big no-nos, okay? You shouldn't follow it because uh, trading has zero-sum game, okay? They what will keep their positions in secret so that uh, they can profit off you, okay? So you do not want to take tips from all these institutional players, okay? And uh, you want to avoid being a sucker to them, okay? So that's the first reason trading is a zero-sum game. Okay, the second reason, okay, why, oh, sorry. The second reason why institutional traders need you to lose money is because they have a big position, okay? They are trading billions of dollars. They are trading a very big position, okay? So what does this mean? Okay, this means that they cannot just enter in the, their position at a level, okay? So let me just draw it out for you, okay? Let's say this is the level that uh, they are interested in buying, okay? If they place an order at this level, uh, given their position size, it's going to mark, push up price uh, to, on their position, right? Because as people, you know, as, uh, as they buy, price goes up. So what happens is that the, they end up marking up price on themselves, right? They are getting their position at a higher price, okay? So that is why they cannot have a buy position or sell position at just one price, right? They need to accumulate their position at a level where uh, retail traders like you and I are willing to sell it or, you know, buy it from them, okay? So this is why uh, they, they need to do it quietly. They cannot just, uh, just accumulate it at one shot, okay? So who's going to sell it to them? Who's going to sell them all these, you know, uh, positions that they want to buy, okay? So let's say this is the support. Okay, let me just uh, clear this for you. Okay, let's say uh, 1.10 is the support and that they wish to buy, okay? What they will not do is they will not just uh, do an entry order like this, like retail traders like us, right? If we believe that uh, this level is uh, the level that we want to buy, we just buy it like that. And then, you know, we set our uh, stop loss and take profit. But institutional traders, they don't because they have a big position. What they will do is they will have a lot of orders. They will have a lot of levels to uh, place their orders, okay? They will maybe enter it at this level and then they have another series of orders at uh, maybe just slightly below, 
okay, and another order, okay, so on and so forth. Okay, I'm not going to draw everything out for you, uh, but the idea is, is that they are actually accumulating their position in clusters, okay, meaning that they are accumulating the positions that we as retail traders want to uh, sell. For example, when we are willing to sell to them, they come in and scoop it up, okay, so that's how they get uh, the best pricing. Right, by having us, right, as retail traders, uh, sell it to them. We give them the liquidity. Okay, so that's why uh, this video is very important. Uh, I have a lot of other videos about how institutional traders are manipulating the market to sucker you in. So uh, I will leave some uh, links, maybe at the top right, to show you the other videos that I have for you, just in case you have not watched them. Okay, but this is why they need you to lose money, because they need you to provide the liquidity. And this happens when you know you put your stop loss in the wrong places. Okay, when you are getting out, they are actually buying your stop losses. They are literally eating your stop losses. Okay, so do not do that. Okay, so now you understand why institutional traders need you to lose money. Okay, hopefully I've been clear enough. Okay, hopefully you are convinced that uh, you know trading is only really a zero sum game, and uh, you know institutional traders are out to eat you because they need your liquidity. Okay, so I want to show you how the institutional traders typically sucker you, okay? So this is very important because uh, you understand the theory now, okay? Now here's the practical part of it, okay? What should you do, you know, so that you do not lose money? And if possible, right, you want to accumulate positions where institutional traders are actually accumulating their positions. So basically you want to join them, okay? You do not want to fight against them, okay? So how do institutional traders typically sucker you in? Okay, uh, let me just uh, draw it out for you. Okay, I actually covered this in the other video called the Forex Master Pattern, but uh, I just want to do you know, a quick, uh, you know, just a quick introduction over here, uh, just in case uh, you did not watch, watch that video uh, and you do not wish to click over to check out that video. Okay, so what happens uh, in this kind of scenario is typically uh, institutional traders will do something like this. Okay, you have an uptrend and then there's a retracement coming down. Okay, so what happens is that uh, price starts going up Okay, and there is a form of support over here. Okay, and a lot of new retail traders, okay, uh, they see that price is rebounding off support and they miss this uh, prior up mode. Okay, so you know they get excited, they say, okay, I need to trade with the trend. So what happens is that uh, they enter a trade somewhere here and then they put their stop loss below the swing low. Okay, so this is what a lot of trading books teaches and this is what institutional traders know. They know that your stop loss is all over here. Okay, so what do they do? Okay, what do they do? They purposely drive price down first. Okay, they drive the price down first over here. Okay, because your stop loss is over here. And meanwhile, uh, this is your trade. Okay, let me just clear this so that it's clearer. Okay, so this is your trade over here. Okay, this is the retail entry. Okay, let me call it a retail entry. Okay, this is the retail entry and what institutionals are doing is that they are actually doing something like this. Okay, they have their, they have their order here. Okay, let me say, your, let's assume that your stop loss is at this level. Okay, what they are doing is that where your stop loss is, is actually where their entry is. Okay, so they are trying to uh, accumulate the position that uh, you have. They're trying to buy it from you because at this level, the retail entry uh, you and I, we are selling over here to cut our losses. But what the big boys they are doing is that they are actually buying, putting their orders over here, and then they shift their stop loss uh, below. Okay, so this is how they sucker you in, right? They look for obvious swing levels where the stop losses are at, and what they do is that uh, they purposely drive price to that level. Okay, so if you have ever had a position which uh, you know. The moment you enter price just had to trade against you and after it hits your stop loss, it goes straight into profit, right? That is what the institutional traders are doing, okay? If you've been trading for some time, uh, you will probably have experienced this a lot of times, right? You will know that uh, institutional traders love to do this, okay? So please, uh, you know, take note of this pattern, okay? This is a very uh, important thing for you because uh, I want you to be on the right side with the institutional traders and not you know, lose money and put your stop loss at the wrong level, okay? So the best tip I can have for you to avoid this scenario is um, do not put your stop loss at obvious levels, okay? I repeat, do not put your stop loss at obvious swing levels, okay? Where uh, 
people know where the sweet stop losses are. Okay, let me show you some examples. Okay, let's say um, let's say you you long here. Okay, let's say you bought a position over here. Okay, because you know, like like I said, I drew the pattern just now, right? Let me just uh let me just uh leave that on so they can see. Let's say you buy over here. Okay, you put your stop loss below the swing low. Okay, it's kind of exactly like this pattern, right? You have the up move. And then you have the retracement, and then you have the second uh, uh, up, up move, right? You, you buy somewhere here thinking that this is a, the support, but look what price did. It just comes back a bit more, and then it slams it down to stop you out, right? Because you put your stop loss below a recent swing low, okay? So that's very important. Do not put your stop loss at obvious levels, okay? In this case, uh, it's better if you have to put your stop loss below here. Okay, so please uh, take this in mind. Okay, uh, this is not the full strategy. I do have the other videos which show you how to profit from it. But in this video, uh, I think the focus is really to show you that institutional traders really need you to lose money. Okay, they need you to lose money in order for them to profit. Okay, it's something that they have been doing for years. Okay, it's something that they must do. If not, uh, they can't turn a profit. Okay, so I do not want... Uh, their profit to be your loss and that's why I created this video. Okay, I have a lot of other videos like this. Okay, I also have a free day trading guide for you. The link's in the description. Uh, if you have not checked it out, please grab a copy of that. It's free. Okay, what you can do is you can apply this concept together with the uh, MPE strategy that uh, I teach in the free day trading guide. Okay, so I hope uh, this video has been uh, informative for you. I hope you learned something. Okay, if you have any questions, you know, how to apply this, uh, you know, like, uh, why is this so, just any questions, right? Just feel free to comment down below, right? Uh, give us a thumbs up at the same time. Leave a comment below. Tell us, uh, you know, what are your struggles, uh, you know, if there's anything that's not clear. And our, our team will be very happy to help you. Okay, just let us know. Okay, if not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.